Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a brisk fall morning here in Northeast Oklahoma, but overall the temperatures have been uh, pretty nice. It's been like in the 70s all week and uh, we've been taking advantage of that. We got a little project going on in the shop. I'm sure a lot of you probably already know what I'm talking about, but it's early in the morning. I say it's early in the morning, the sun's already up, but I got my Ranger parked outside because I don't have any room in the shop because of what we got going on in here. And I'm gonna show you guys in just a second if I can get my uh, door open. So I hope everybody's been having a great day, great week. I got my little mouse hunter here. I seen a mouse in the shop again. And uh, yeah, he's been hunting. So uh, there you go. <laughs> I have no room in the shop. Look at all these boxes. Let me. Let me get a light turned on here. Open the door up. So you guys know, if you guys follow Keeping It Dutch, you knew he was going to be getting a portable mobile sawmill. And this thing is a beast. We, we have been working on this thing for two straight days. And I'm talking pretty much daylight to dark and uh we are not done this thing came shipped i don't even know like 40 to 50 boxes of parts this is just part of it and i'm fixing to burn these things i mean this this is just a little tidbit of it um we started putting it together at a different shop but we didn't know what we were actually getting into we thought we were going to be able to assemble it a lot faster every one of these pieces came shipped in a box like these none of this stuff was assembled at all the uh axles the tires everything came in its own box this giant motor it came in its own box everything came in its own box so every little nut and bolt has been uh, put together by us by hand and i like a good uh challenge i like puzzles but this thing has clearly clearly been kicking our butts uh we've been putting it together i know dutch will have some videos out before i will i'm, I'm not really filming uh putting this together or anything like that i'm just doing a video today because i have not had time to do a video for the past two or three days because we've been working on this and um <laughs> it's been crazy it rained all day yesterday so luckily we did have my shop to put this thing in and if you guys don't know, Dutch has been my best friend pretty much my whole life. He just bought some off-grid property, about 40 acres just right down the road from us. And he is going to be using this to build a bunch of stuff, build a house and all kinds of stuff on his property. So go check his channel out if you're not familiar. He's going to have a lot of videos coming out uh, of assembling this. I think he's going to put a time lapse together. And you guys can see the challenge that we're dealing with here. But last night, it was actually a good feeling because... We stayed out here until pretty late last night and we actually got the motor mounted. We got the saw blade put on here, all that good stuff. So we're not that far away. Look at these. This is a giant, this is a pretty big uh, blade, the super sharp teeth. He actually ordered the teeth for hardwood because we got a lot of hickory and oak in our area. A lot of people normally will use pine or softwood for lumber, but around here, look at this. These guys. There's no food in there, guys. What are you doing? Peter, get him out of there. Tell him. Leave my dad's ranger alone. All right, Skeeter chased them off. Good boy, okay. Skeeter, come here. Hey, okay, come here. Don't you start chasing those chickens like that. Only the turkeys, okay? You keep them off our stuff. Good boy. All right, so my camera just glitched. I don't know, it's been uh, acting weird here lately. But honestly, guys, I don't have a lot of new stuff going on right now. Right now, I'm just trying to help my buddy Dutch get this uh, sawmill assembled. You never know what you're finding in your pocket. A bolt to the sawmill, you don't want to lose that. But like I said, guys, this thing is a beast. And I actually have some projects where this thing might benefit me. Dutch said I can use it whenever I want. I think he's going to keep it here for a while until he gets uh moved out here permanently because you don't want no one uh running off with it or anything like that this is a 
the sawmill is worth a lot of money so it could easily be stolen in a heartbeat people see it and they see the value in it and you just cannot trust people these days i don't know where my little uh friend my new friend is my little white chicken be looking out we are going to do a poll for a name on the little white hen that has been following me around hopefully she's still alive i haven't seen her today uh it's still early it's cold in the morning so she might still be in the chicken coop sleeping or something but we're gonna put a poll out we're gonna let you guys name this white hen a lot of people were saying butterscotch and saying goldie and i think a lot of people think i already named her butterscotch i think i was just calling her that because i didn't really have a name for her but i'll be putting a poll out um on uh i got chickens way the heck over in the other field that is crazy they never go over there <sighs> <laughs> sorry guys i'm rambling around i'm gonna put a poll on uh on youtube and i'm gonna let you guys choose a name i'm gonna go through the comments on the last video i did oh i see her she's up here by my truck check. Or she's actually over in the other goat field she'll probably make her way over here in a minute and if i could ever finish this story and stay on track so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let you guys pick the name. Uh, I've had a lot of people leave comments on the last video saying Goldie, Butterscotch, all kinds of not, all kinds of awesome names. And I'm going to let you guys pick. I'm going to put up a poll on YouTube. I'll actually make a video before I do that and let you guys know when it's going to be on there. We'll leave it on there for a week and stuff. And you guys can go to our community page on YouTube and you can vote on which name you think we should uh, name the chicken. I think that'll be fair. And let's see here. Skeeter. Skeeter, you're not doing your job, boy. <laughs> hey. You're back in the ranger. Look. Skeeter. Hey, leave the mice alone and get these turkeys out of here. Come on. You can't get him, can you? Nope. He's trying. He's trying to. Look at this. Skeeter. Get that turkey out of there. Get him out. Get him. <laughs> hey. Hey, come here. You want another treat? Huh? You need another treat? Good boy. Alright. That is a uh, guard dog there. So the goats are over in the new field. I'll, pr I'll try to make another video in a day or two, or maybe this afternoon if I get time, if we get the sawmill done in time. We're going to go talk about the goats and update on their new field and all that type of stuff. And we need to go over in the big field with the, where they just were and see if, they've, uh, if the seeds has germinated. You guys remember I planted the turnip and wheat seeds. It's been over a week now. We've had a rain since then. We actually got a pretty good rain so hopefully it didn't just wash the seeds away hopefully they had uh, plenty of dirt to kind of grab hold of and uh, germinate in i don't know let's walk over here and see this chicken i don't know it's weird she's not coming over here normally when she sees me out here just like red she'll run run to me but not this time so let's go take a little look let's go see what mojo's doing i think he's taking a nap all right look at here guys look who finally woke up what do you know, Mojo? I about called you Skeeter. Huh? You out here with your goats? And there's a little chip. He's been loving on the ladies lately. A little ghost face. You guys are you guys are warm. They love when the sun comes up on these cold days. Can you hate being on video or what? All right, little white hen, I'm gonna go back to the shop. You can follow me if you want. You coming out the gate? Alright guys, bear with me. My camera keeps messing up. I don't know what's going on with that. I might have to send it in to get it fixed. But 
as you guys seen I have a huge mess in the shop with all those boxes and uh, we don't really have a trash service that comes to our house so what we're gonna do is burn these boxes I got a little fire pit over here that needs to be redone we're gonna do one redo one eventually we've been planning on it we don't know if we're gonna use some kind of man-made stone or just like a natural stone you know we got tons of rocks here on our property I just don't know what we're gonna do but, so we normally burn boxes right there and as you can see I got enough to stay busy for a little bit so that's what I'm gonna do real quick I'm gonna throw some boxes in there and uh, start burning some but I need to get these uh, see all these leaves I need to get them away from the shop because I do not want no fire happening <laughs> Right, guys I made a little more room in the shop I got all those boxes burned and I only managed to catch the grass on fire just a little bit <laughs> and then of course as soon as I get done you can see the wind has pretty much died down so uh, we've been we already got started working on some stuff oh, that's for sure. hey Kevin we know oh, I'll just tighten up this blade expander down here tensioner thing uh, yeah, level or whatever. Tensioner expander, yeah yeah there's a lot to learn on this thing yeah you ready to throw some wood on there? If we can find some logs. I seen I seen some laid down back there. Nice little hoodie you got there. <laughs> hey, thank you. It's our buddy Daniel. <laughs> Why don't you my homestead? All right, guys. So I want to wrap up this video. We got work to do. Like I said, go check out Dutch. Keeping it Dutch. He's gonna have some videos over this whole process. He's gonna have a time lapse of the whole installation. Oh, look who shows up. I really put it all together. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Slide. They've had, uh, slide, their instruction book is about like that thick, it seems like. Yeah, I told them it was a big puzzle. It was a big project for them. They've done really good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned it on our, on this video, but the uh, manual to putting this thing together is 279 pages. Yeah. I come out last night and they were about halfway through it and I thought, oh. <laughs> but this morning it's looking better. They're doing a good job. Yep. And I got all the boxes burned. There's just a couple more boxes on some stuff that we we're waiting to put together but now i can pull the ranger back in there when we're done for the night so kai wanted to drive it though yeah before you maybe later maybe later she's learning to drive the ranger a little bit yep <laughs> all right guys so uh there you go go check out dutch's videos if you want to see more on the whole process from start to finish of the sawmill and hopefully we'll have some uh, videos in the future using this thing yeah hey thank you rustic woodwork for the yep. t-shirts too yes we forgot to uh, yeah he gave us some more the at the time. pig roast yeah he did yep. so thank you they're awesome we love them yep so guys if you're not subscribed to our channel check us out subscribe subscribe to keeping it dutch and uh leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time